as the landscape of smart electric vehicles evolves into a complex ecosystem, many players, from traditional power suppliers to emerging startups and across industry giants, have sought to empower the industry. Yet, why has Huawei ultimately positioned itself as a tier zero level? Many people might immediately think of the power of its brand. In fact, Huawei is a well-known consumer electronic brand with a huge user base in China and across the world. Its user base includes not only a large variety of individual consumers, but also a large number of business clients, which has fostered a strong reputation among users. As a result, Huawei had a strong brand appeal as it entered its intelligent electric car market. From another perspective, Huawei's extensive influence influence in both B2B and B2C means that it can fully meet the high standards demanded by business clients, including ID capability, marketing, channel resources, and supply chain security, etc., all of which have been intensively validated in the market. Moreover, Huawei has deep insights into operating in the consumer market. These are exactly what the automotive industry urgently needs and the transformation to smart electric vehicles, especially a strong technology base, which is widely recognized as a key to winning the smart transformation. Despite the fierce competition in the smart electric vehicle sector, whether on cost, user experience or service, the focus will ultimately return to products and technology. Hardcore technological capabilities, including integration across domain and technologies, are also natural genes for Huawei. As a supplier for intelligent connected vehicles, Huawei's automotive business strategy has been updated several times in recent years. However, its commitment to driving the development of intelligent vehicles through core technology innovation remains steadfast. Currently, Huawei has established a full-stack core technology based for intelligent electric vehicles. In the field of intelligent driving, Huawei has deeply integrated technologies ranging from the perception layers such as cameras, millimeter wave reader, high-precision 4D radar and laser radar to the decision-making layer including MDC computing platforms and various perception and decision-making algorithms. Based on these technologies, Huawei has developed a system-level solution, Huawei ADS Intelligent Driving System, which has now been iterated to version 3.0. In this process, with a continuous upgrading of intelligent driving capabilities, Huawei announced the launch of intelligent driving centered solution brand Qiankun, including Qiankun ADS, Qiankun Weika Control, and Qiankun Cloud for automotive and aimed to synergize with harmonious space, forming the two core brands of Huawei intelligent automotive solutions. In the field of intelligent cockpit, Huawei has also driven technology and application innovation. For the intelligent cockpit, Huawei has laid out a comprehensive strategy from the bottom layer of the harmonious OS to in-vehicle intelligent displays, in-vehicle audio system, and various software and ecosystem application. As a distributed operating system for various terminal devices, harmonious OS serves as a fundamental support for Huawei's OnePlus 8 Plus N full scenario strategy and has become a key part of building a diversified smart mobility ecosystem. On one hand, in terms of in-vehicle application development, Harmonious OS supports the rapid development of diverse applications and seamless cross-terminal collaboration due to its distributed architecture and good cross-platform capability. In addition, Harmonious OS can provide the automotive industry with a dedicated subsystem platform for the intelligent cockpit domain, enabling rapid development of cockpit applications. On the other hand, in terms of the end site ecosystem, thanks to the continuous expansion of the Harmonia ecosystem, Huawei can also provide crucial support for OEMs to develop various cockpit applications. According to data, as for now, the total number of Harmonia ecosystem access devices have exceeded 
800 million units, with more than 2.2 million developers and more than 2,500 partners under the Harmonious OS Connect brand. More than 7,000 ecological products covering all aspects of intelligent living scenarios. Thanks to the powerful underlying support base and ecosystems of Harmonious OS, Harmonious Space Cockpit is considered a standing level presence in the automotive industry right now. In the field of intelligent electric vehicle, Huawei has developed the Drive One high voltage electric powertrain system, which includes 3 in 1 e powertrain, X in 1 e powertrain, as well as vehicle charging system, cloud solutions, and other product portfolios. Huawei's Drive One e powertrain have been used in models such as Avita 11, Avita 12 idle M-Line, Lucia S7, and Li Autos models. In terms of charging, Huawei's liquid-cooled supercharger has been deployed in more than 30 provinces and cities in China right now, including Beijing, Guangdong, Chongqing, and Shanghai. To provide a more convenient charging experience, Huawei Digital Power partnered with the first 11 OEMs, including Avita, Bike, BYD, Great Wall, Motor, GAC, Hosen, JAC, Li Auto, Cherry, Serios, and Xiaopeng, as well as over 500 charging operators to establish the supercharging alliance in April this year with the goal of building a comprehensive supercharging network. According to the plan, Huawei Digital Power plans to work with customers and partners to deploy more than 100,000 superchargers by 2024. Intelligent Connected Vehicles and Intelligent Vehicle Cloud are also the core of Huawei's full-stack solution. Huawei's Intelligent Connected Vehicles business mainly focus on IoT device, the connectivity channel and the cloud services related to connected cars, providing diverse network connectivity inside and outside the vehicle. To some extent, this business is the actual starting point of Huawei's automotive business and the expansion of its ICT technology capabilities to the automotive industry. The intelligent vehicle cloud business primarily provides users with connected services such as digital keys and dash cams, as well as intelligent services that cover the entire life cycle of vehicles, such as OTA upgrades and remote fault diagnosis. For example, Huawei recently launched the Qiankun Intelligent Vehicle Cloud Services 3.0, which introduced six major innovative services and applications, including LLM, Digital Key, HUD 2.0, DV Feed Diff OTA, High Efficiency Differential Algorithm, iGracing, and Internet of Vehicle Security Cloud Service, covering various application scenarios such as vehicle preparation, boarding, usage, parking, maintenance, and more. A huge technical system also relies on continuous high R&D investment. According to Huawei's 2023 annual report, since the establishment of the Intelligent Automotive Solution BU, the cumulative R&D investment has succeeded 30 billion yuan, and the R&D team have reached 7,000 people, while in 2021, the team was only 5,000 people. With the expansion of Harmonious Smart Selection and HI Model Corporation project, Huawei has continued to expand the scale of its automotive business team. Such a large investment has actually built a hardcore competitiveness and a natural fortress for Huawei's automotive business, making the intelligent automotive solution BU more confident to compete in the transformation of the intelligent electric vehicle industry. In the field of intelligent electric vehicles, Huawei's entry was not earlier. Compared to the early entries such as Neo, Xiaopeng, and the Auto, Huawei's entry came about five years later. Despite being a late comer, Huawei has primarily established a leading position in the competition through the continuous hot sales of ITO. Next, Huawei undoubtedly faced the issue of profitability in its autonomy business. After all, all business models will eventually be put to the test of commercial realization. At the beginning of the establishment of the Intelligent Automotive Solution BU, Huawei's senior management set no profit target for six years for the business. But this didn't mean that the business was without profit pressure. 
especially in recent years, with the continuous expansion of the automotive business, Huawei's investment has also increased at the same time. According to Huawei's 2022 annual report, the intelligent automotive solution BU had a cumulative investment of US 3 billion US dollars by 2022, and automotive related IMD expenditure alone reaching 10.3 billion yuan in 2022, accounting for 6.37% of the total investment. In contrast, the business revenue in the same year was only 2.1 billion yuan, while the total revenue of the group was 642.3 billion yuan. Benefiting from the upgrade of ITO M7, the total shipment volume of the ITO increased from 75,000 units in 2022 to 94,380 units in 2023, driving the revenue growth of Huawei's automotive business. According to Huawei's 2023 annual report, last year Huawei's revenue from the Intelligent Automotive Solution BU reached 4.7 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 128.1%. However, the Intelligent Automotive Solution BU was still facing serious losses. In the past, the business lost 10 billion yuan a year, then 8 billion yuan, and last year it lost 6 billion yuan, said Yu Chandong in March this year. In the past three years, the company has lost at least 24 billion yuan in total. Despite the huge losses, Huawei's automotive business has been gradually moving forward profitability. In the first three months of this year, Huawei's smart selection business has already turned losses into profits, and the intelligent automotive solution BU is also expected to break even from April, said Yu Chandong previously. At present, the performance of the intelligent automotive solution BU has already exceeded expectations. According to Yu Chandong, Huawei's smart selection and intelligent automotive solution BU turned losses into profits in the first quarter of this year due to the strong sales of the smart selection business, especially ITO. However, it is expected to take some time for Huawei to completely make up for the deficit in the automotive business in recent years. The new ITO M7, ITO M5, and Lucy S7 were launched in the second quarter, and the Stellato S9 will be unveiled in the third quarter. Several new corporation projects and the HI model have been gradually implemented. Based on this, Huawei's intelligent automotive solution BU revenue is expected to continue to have great growth potential this year. In particular, HIMA have formed a relatively comprehensive product layout in the high-end vehicle market, and the Chinese high-end market is also in the process of accelerating expansion, further providing solid support for Huawei's automotive revenue growth. According to the Gasco Automotive Research Institute, in 2023, the sales volume of vehicles priced above 2,100 yuan in the Chinese passenger vehicles market reached 37%, up 3 percentage points year-on-year. Year. Among them, sales of luxury brands reached 4.51 billion units, with NEV companies being the main growth driver, with sales rising rapidly from 220,000 units in 2020 to 1.97 billion units in 2023. As Chinese new energy vehicles brands continue to focus on the high-end market and consumption upgrading continues to become the main strength, in the car replacement market. It is expected that the penetration rate of high-end models will continue to increase. In this context, Huawei has rapidly entered the high-end market through its smart selection business and is likely to continue to benefit from the rise of the Chinese high-end market. According to the Gasco Automotive Research Institute, the total sales of ITO could reach 450,000 units this year which is a big increase compared to 2023. However, as Huawei's intelligent automotive solution BU blossom, the challenges it faces cannot be ignored. A realistic test is whether the business can respond quickly to the needs of all parties with limited resources as the number of partners continues to grow. Although Yu Chengdong has previously clarified that, due to Huawei's limited capacity, HIMA would only focus on the four brands, Ito, Lucid, Stellato, and Sunyin. If the four brands were fully rolled out, it would be a huge project.
In the automotive business, Huawei aimed to lead the entire process from research and development to the launch of new vehicles. However, when working with automakers such as Cherry and Chang'an, the company did not want to play only a supporting role. As a result, there may be conflicts in the process, organizational management, style and culture, said industry insiders. In other words, even though the ITO has achieved good performance, Huawei's efforts to work with other automakers in the same way will not be easy. In response, Huawei has initiated a new round of adjustments to its automotive business, including splitting the intelligent automotive solution BU, sharing risks and costs by introducing automotive partners, and opening up a large market space for the business by relying on strong ties with partner automakers. In November 2023, Huawei officially confirmed a plan to establish a new company that integrates the core technologies and resources of its intelligent automotive solution BU, including intelligent driving, intelligent cockpit, intelligent vehicle cloud, AR HUD, and intelligent car lights, but excludes HRMA. Huawei will also open equity to other automakers and join to build a new company into an open platform with diversified equity. At the same time, Chang Automobile and Huawei signed a memorandum of investment cooperation and announced that Chang and its affiliates would invest in a new company with a share holding of not more than 40%. Then, at the beginning of this year, Huawei formally completed the registration of the new company, which was named Shenzhen Yingwang Intelligent Technology Corporation. Later, it set up subsidiaries in Suzhou, Nanjing, Dongguan, Shanghai, Hangzhou, and other cities, and started large-scale recruitment to prepare for the new companies. According to the previous plan, Huawei and Chang'an should complete the deal within six months after signing the memorandum in November last year. However, in the latest announcement, Chang'an recently pointed out that due to the importance and the complexity of the project and the need for the parties to advance internal procedures, the project progress has been delayed compared to the estimate in the memorandum. Based on the latest project progress, it was expected that the final transaction documents would be signed no later than August 31, 2024. This meant that the latest estimate for reaching the deal would be three months later than before. In addition to Chang'an, Mr. Yu Zhen, Deputy General Manager of Dongfeng Motor Corporation, previously revealed that Dongfeng Motor is actively promoting their participation in Huawei's Intelligent Automotive Solution BU with FAW Group and the preliminary conclusions expected in June. In the participation of Dongfeng and FAW going smoothly, coupled with support of Chang'an Automobile and Huawei's hardcore strengths, it is expected that more companies will join. Ultimately, Huawei's Intelligent Automotive Solution BU is expected to reshape China's intelligent electric vehicle industry chain.